duties of principal. In a contract of agency, not only that the agent has duties to the principal, the principal also has got duties to the agent. But basically, the duties of the principal, there are only three main duties, which is lesser than the agent's numerous duties. Now, the first duty of the principal is that the principal is under a duty to pay the agent's commission or remuneration. Nobody works for free. So obviously, the principal will have to pay the agent's commission or remuneration or salary. Now, how much the principal has to pay or when the principal has to pay? Now, it all depends on what is stated in the contract of agency. So, if the contract of agency has stipulated how much and when the remuneration or commission has to be paid, then the principal will have to do so according to the contract of agency. However, in the absence of such provision, Section 172 provides that the agent's commission or remuneration must be paid by the principal when the agent has completed his work. However, according to Section 173, if the agent has committed any form of misconduct, the agent is not entitled to get the commission or remuneration. For example, if the agent has made a secret profit in the process of his carrying out his duties. When he makes a secret profit, one of the remedies that the principal can exercise is that he can refuse to pay the agent's commission. Likewise, if the agent has committed any other form of misconduct, if he disobeys the principal's instructions causing losses, or if he has acted negligently or in any way that he does not exercise his skills causing losses to the principal, in those situations also the principal can refuse to pay the agent's commission because Section 173 allows the principal not to pay the agent's commission because of his misconduct. The second duties of the principal is that the principal cannot prevent the agent from earning his commission because it is the duty of the principal to pay the agent's commission. Now, the principal cannot do things to prevent the agent, to stop the agent or create a hurdle to the agent so that the agent cannot get his commission. For example, if the principal refused every contract that the agent has made on behalf of the principal without any valid reason, this is a form of preventing the agent from earning his commission. Let's say if the principal asks the agent to do certain tasks, let's say he asks the agent to secure certain goods, to buy certain goods for him, and everything that the every contract that the uh, agent has entered into with the third party on behalf of the principal to buy those goods, the principal refused them. No valid reasons at all, but he kept on refusing and refusing and refusing. So when he refuses all the contracts made by the agent without any valid reason, then the agent will not be able to earn his commission. Secondly, is when he assigned the same task to another agent. Let's say, for example, the principal asked the agent to sell a property which he owns. And there's only one property, but he has asked two different agents to sell the same property. Now, obviously, one of the agents will be successful and the other will not be able to do so because there's only one property and therefore, only one person can sell the property, get a buyer for it, and the principal will sell only to one particular buyer. And therefore, the other agent is left without any form of commission. So in this way, this is a form of the principal preventing the agent from earning his commission. The third duty of the principal is that the principal must indemnify and reimburse the agent where the agent has exercised his duties and this results in the following. Firstly, that the agent incurred losses or liability when he is doing his duties. For example, if the agent, when he followed the principal's instructions, the principal's instructions perhaps is something that is against the law and 
as a result of which the agent was sued by someone or that the agent had to pay compensation to another person he had to suffer certain losses or liability where another person a third party sues the agent so in that situation if the agent had to come out with the payment out of his own pocket then the principal must reimburse must indemnify the agent must pay back the agent for whatever losses that he has incurred The relevant case on this point is Kyle and Everett against Lim Kim Kat. What happened in this case was that the executrix of the property of the deceased person, executrix is a person who administers the estate of a deceased person. Now, he she has asked executrix is a female executor is a male so what happened in this case is that this executor she instructed the agent a broker um, to sell yeah, certain shares to to get a buyer um, for certain shares this was under her responsibility the shares were supposed to be something that they will benefit the beneficiaries of the deceased person But what happened was that the will was not proven in in when you see when even though there is a will there has to be some legal procedures whereby the will will be recognized in that particular country especially when the will is made in another country it has to be confirmed or it has to be recognized it has there are legal procedures to make sure that the will has been uh, recognized and um, affirmed that Uh, this person can do so can sell this property these assets so that was not done and as a result the shares could not be sold but the broker the agent has already obtained a buyer for that for those shares so what the agent had to do was that the agent had to obtain some of the shares in order to to sell it to the um to the buyer and therefore the agent has suffered losses so in this situation because the agent acted in the instructions of the principal he followed the principal's instructions and he suffered the losses and therefore the principal must reimburse the agent the second situation where the principal must reimburse or indemnify the agent is if the agent causes injury to a third party by carrying out instructions either physical injury or any form of economic losses these are the things that the principal will have to be responsible for because the agent carried out instructions of the principal but by doing so it causes injury to the third party and thirdly where the agent himself suffers injury by carrying out the principal's instructions maybe in following the principal's instructions he had to do something that was dangerous and therefore cause physical injury to himself he had to be hospitalized he had to be um he had to incur expenses medical expenses and therefore the principal has to indemnify and reimburse the agent so those are the three duties of the principal to the agent